Hey, hello friends. Hope you guys are doing good. Welcome to my channel, SAPSD and AWAP Leap Support. In our previous sessions, we discussed about configuration required for flexible workflow setup in SAP SDS4 HANA system. And this is continuation to that series only. And in our previous sessions, we discussed about how to configure the approval request reasons. And today we will see about how to assign that approval request reason for specific sales document type wise based on the certain conditions. To do that, there are two options available. One in SPR path, the SAP reference IMG under sales and distribution, sales, sales document, and here we can see business add ins. Remember that setting the approval request reason or reason for rejection will be happens through body only. If you click here, we can see different kind of bodies available, right? But we should focus on the body, these two only. Set approval request reason for sales documents and set sales document reason rejections for rejected approval requesters. Today we'll see about how to set the approval request reason for sales documents so by executing this one we can uh, define those body implementation this is one of the way the other way is that we can uh, access the t code se24 in se24 we can easily develop the bodies this is the class which is provided by SAP. Let me display this. And this is situated under the enhancement spot ES, SD, SLS, Extend. And this is the interface for this class. So here under implementations, we can see We can see all the implemented bodies. If nothing is implemented, means we need to do the implementation for our particular scenarios. So, anyway, this is purely handled by ABAP team only. So, if you want to learn it, means you can learn it, or you can skip this particular portion. But what we need to understand the logic in this body is that in which situations or which scenarios the approval request reason should be set for any kind of sales document types. That logic, we should share it with our ABAP team. They can do the code changes accordingly. For example, let me open one body, which is already implemented in the system. So this is the body definition and if I go to the implementation class and this is the class, let me copy this. If I go to SC24, I can access this. Okay, and if I double click this method, so inside this method only, we have added all the required logic. So for example, Business saying that in case of sales service 1010 and distribution channel is 20 
and division is 00, zero sales document type is standard order or custom order zero or right so these kind of scenarios and one more condition they are going to specify is that whenever payment terms getting changed whenever payment term getting changed see this is the first condition sales are should be 1010 and uh, distribution should be 20 division is uh, 00 and sales document type should be Z O R and when this everything has to be satisfied, one more thing needs to be satisfied that is whenever payment term getting changed. So whenever this satisfied, right? Whenever these five conditions satisfied, then a workflow should trigger to trigger that first of all with the help of this body, we should assign the approval request reason that might be J01 or something else right whatever we are defined in the configurations if you want to understand how to define that uh, approval request reason means if you go through my previous uh, session on surplus uh, topic you can understand how to define this so we need to set this approval request reason whenever this is satisfied. In other cases, like uh, sales are satisfied, distribution channel, division, sales document type, everything satisfied except payment terms is not changed at all. In these cases, no need to set this approval request reason. So we are making this workflow to trigger in case of certain scenarios only so like this business might have their own set of conditions in which cases the workflow should trigger accordingly we should build up the logic and share it with our ABAP team ABAP team will write the logic in our body and if you see here same thing as I highlighted earlier based on certain conditions we are updating the approval request reason ZS06 to the variable sales document approval reason. Right? This should be done. Payment time change uh, or ship to customer address change or any manual pricing condition has been added. So, in those cases, we can set this approval request reason. If I go to the logic means, you can clearly see that we are getting all the runtime uh, structures and the tables by using the this statement SAP MV45A in uh, parentheses, there will be brackets. Then we are going to add the tables, table and uh, structure depending on our logic. Right? In this way, we need to retrieve all the logic and build up the logic then set the approval request reason so moreover this body implementation can also be done in the app custom logic so in this app also we can develop this body or implement this body either in a cp screen or in the theory app also we can implement this body. Remember this is the important step in workflow to trigger. This complete logic will be given by a function team and the development of the code will be done by your ABAP team. Fine. Friends, we can continue in the next video. Thank you. Bye for now.